In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your hosting a domain to Shopify. Uh, this is going to be very quick and easy, so follow along. So first, what you need to do is obviously log into Hostinger and log into Shopify. Now, once you're on Shopify, you want to go to the settings in the bottom left hand corner, and then you want to go ahead and scroll down and find domains. So click here where it says domains. Then you'll see a list of all of the current domains you've got in your account. If you're if you've just started this account, you're not going to have any domains. You just have your default Shopify one. Uh, that's completely fine. So now what we need to do is go ahead and click here where it says connect existing domain. Once you've done that, it will then ask you for your domain. So go over to Hostinger and you'll obviously have the domain you want to connect here. So for the video, I'll connect knowledgebasedtutorials.com. So we'll click copy here and I'll just type in www. and then paste in the Hostinger domain. Then click next. Now what we need to do is we need to add some records to Hostinger. Uh, that, now this is very easy and I'm going to leave these records in the description. Uh, you just want to copy and paste them in a certain order. So go to manage on your domain and then you want to go ahead and go to DNS slash name servers. And here where it says manage DNS records, we need to add a couple of records. Now what I recommend you do first, you need to go ahead and delete any current CNAME records and any current A records. So here I've got an A record. I need to delete this. And here I've got two C name records, which I need to delete. Now these are from previous tutorials. You may not have these records, but if you have them, just delete them, right? So now we've got no C name and no A records. So now what we need to do is we need to add two records. So the first record we wanna, we wanna add is going to be a C name record. And here where it says name, you want to type in www. And then again, I'll put these records in the description below. But for target here, you want to just copy this shops.myshopify.com and then paste that in the target and click add record. You can see now that's created that record. Now we need to create one more record and that is going to be an A record. For the name you want to put at and then where it says points to, you want to type in this IP address here. Again, it'll be in the description. Uh, leave TTL and then click add record. And there you can see the DNS records being added or created. Now we can go back to Shopify. And now we need to click verify connection. And if you've done everything correctly, Shopify will then register or recognize that domain. So now this might get a bit confusing here, but now you can see knowledge based tutorials has been added. So now you will click on your domain, change domain type, and I'm going to change it to a primary domain. So make sure you've got the domain you've just added as a primary domain. And now we can go ahead and check to see if this is working. So I'm going to copy this domain here. We can then open a new incognito window. We'll paste it in. And there you go. Knowledgebasedtutorials.com now redirects to my store. So I hope that video helped you out. Let me know if you've got any questions.